Hey Travel Bays, I'm back from the Bahamas and your girl made some mistakes. So I'm here to share the things that I wish I knew before going to the Bahamas so that you could avoid those missteps and live your best travel life. Hey Travel Bays, there is a lot of information out there on the Google machine about how to prepare for a trip to the Bahamas, but I'm here to share the things that you cannot find on the internet. Things that I wish I knew before going. Back in episode two, I talked about finding cheap flights on quality airlines. And one of the ways to do that is booking trips in the shoulder season. Hurricane season for the Bahamas is June through December, which means the best time to go is the end of December through May. And here lies mistake number one. I took my trip in February and the beaches were still cold. I mean, during the day it was in the 70s, but that is not warm enough to really get into the water like I want to. Mistake number two was I didn't plan much outside of the beaches and I didn't really grasp how large and spread out Bahamas is. I flew into Nassau and I thought I could just take a quick ferry over to Exuma to see the pigs swim in the ocean. I mean, how cute is this? Imagine my shock when I learned that it was hundreds of miles away and I needed to take a flight to get to Exuma. Not to mention last minute day trips were expensive. If I were to do it all over again, since I've been to Nassau, I would go book a flight directly to Exuma and I would rent a place just because they tend to be a little more updated than some of the resorts and hotels in that part of the Bahamas. I mean, look at these options right here, 2T. Mistake number three was kind of half seas because I didn't actually make this mistake, but I almost did. So I got groceries for my BNB so that I could have breakfast and lunch and then go out for dinner. And that almost made me miss going to fish fry. But then I had to remember to say my home. I'm on vacation. Let me have fun. Turn up. So if you don't know about Fish Fry, it is near downtown, like the city center area in Nassau. And it is a strip of restaurants that has some of the best Bahamian food you will ever have. I mean, conch is one of the main shellfish dishes in Bahamas. And if you go there and don't get conch fritters, I don't know what to tell you. Please don't do that. So anyway, made it to Fish Fry. This kind gentleman let me know that Frankie Bananas was the place to be and he did not lie. The daiquiris were a great start to the meal and I ended up getting their fried red snapper with some cock fritters as my starter. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Okay, back to the mistake mistakes. So number four is the car driving experience. Please be comfortable driving on the opposite side of the road before you hit the Bahamian streets because it matters at the intersections. They also have a lot of roundabouts and the Bahamian people will blow you. <laughs> and if you're not used to that, you can get frazzled at intersections. So I don't want that to happen to you travel bays. I do recommend renting a car though. It allows you to have the freedom to have the experiences you want to on your own time, like going into the city to shop or to visit other resorts if you happen to partake in day passes. Speaking of day passes, let's talk about mistake number five. So I decided to get a day pass to Sandals Resort, which was in Nassau. And honestly, I recommend it. It was a good time. They had water activities. You could rent jet skis. And it was a good time on their beach and they had karaoke. Now, the reason I say that it was a mistake is because the Bahamians tend to be a bit more conservative and I did not pack actual clothes outside of like my cover up. So I, when I went to go sit down to eat at a formal place, they kind of had me sit like outside and I 
I didn't feel away because I noticed other people that were <laughs> dressed similar to me were kind of sitting outside in the patio versus like inside the restaurant. So that's just something to be aware of that like carry long pants or longer pants or like a shawl that you could put over your shoulders if you're wearing like a halter top or just things where you could cover up if you have super low necklines, high hems to your shorts, whatever. So there you have it, Travel Bays. Those are the five mistakes I made during my trip to the Bahamas that honestly, I'm glad that I made because it helps me to have and plan better trips in the future. And it gives me a sense of things that I should look out for or, or just be aware of moving forward. So if you've had any missteps on an international trip, I would love to know, share your story with me, share your story with the community down in the comments below so that we can learn and grow together. See you next time, Travel Bays. Bye.